No, I don't. Yucky. Good morning, everybody. Morning, girls. Lovely to have you join us today. We are under the sea. Isn't that amazing? Can you see the beautiful stingray on this side? Wow, isn't that beautiful? We are visiting under the sea and all the lovely sea creatures. Can you see all the fish? Wow, beautiful. Okay, today is the 1st of May, 2020. We're gonna start off our morning with Baby Shark. So can you stand up for me and you're gonna join in with Baby Shark. Are you ready? Yes, come on girls, let's get moving. Are you ready? Where's your baby shark? big book here. And what do you see on the book? A starfish. Okay, let's read our story. I'm going to show you the picture there while I read over here. Sally the starfish lives under the sea. It is the most beautiful place on earth to live. Everywhere you look there are fish swimming by. Look at that. She's very happy, isn't she, to live under the sea? Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and on every rock, there is a shell clinging, saying, hi. Can you see all of them? <laughs> all the sea creatures live in the shells. What can you see now? <gasps> Dolphins. I see a red one and a green one and a big octopus. The dolphins play and splash in the waves and the octopi, which means lots of octopus, hide away in their caves. Wow, beautiful. Can you see there Sally? Sally just loves living under the sea. She is as happy as can be. I think we'd also be happy if we lived under the sea. Hey, wow, that was a lovely story about under the sea. Okay, we're going to learn about some creatures under the sea. Let's, before we go to our video, we're going to first have, go to our table. And I want you to tell me, tell me about some sea creatures that you know. What is in the sea? Are there, what's this? 
It's a whale. Can you see? Can you see my whale? I'm going to put it on a paper so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, there's my whale. What else is under the sea? Oh, we just learned about the, the sharks. Look at their big, sharp teeth. Wow. And what else is this swimming in the sea? A turtle. Lovely. And you know about all the fish in the sea. There are lots of different types of fish with beautiful colors. Can you see all at the background? You can see all the different things you find under the sea. Okay, there we go. What is this creature? Oh, this is a, it's a crayfish, isn't it? We like to eat crayfish sometimes. What is this? Wow. It's an octopus. How many legs does an octopus have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs and there's look there's a little baby that looks like a little squid doesn't it and there's a little toy whale let's see what else we have oh and a dolphin can you see the dolphin not really there we go there's my dolphin and this is a killer whale it's not his actual size he's very 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 big wow look at that Okay, and here's another little, a little squid. And what's this? Hey, look at that. Wow. Okay. And there's another one here. We've got lots of, is this a sea creature? Is it? No, it's got lots of legs like some of the creatures. But this does not belong here. What is this? This is a scorpion. Does not belong in the sea, does it? Okay, here's another little crayfish. There we go. Okay. And this, does this belong in the sea? No. This is a little lizard. It's a reptile. Remember we learned about the reptiles. That does not belong in the sea. And does the, does the duck belong in the sea? No, it's a farm animal. Okay, there are our beautiful sea creatures. We get lots and lots of types of creatures, lots of different ones. But here's just some of the creatures that you see in the sea. What else can you think about? What didn't we, what don't we have here? What about a stingray? Do you remember we saw the stingray in the video in the beginning? A stingray. And what about a starfish? We saw, we read about a starfish now and a jellyfish. We don't have a jellyfish here. Okay, they are all our sea creatures. We're going to go to our video now and learn about all our sea creatures. Are you ready for it? Hi, I'm Baby Shark Brooklyn. Subscribe, hit the bell, and like Baby Shark Brooklyn. Octopuses with no backbones. Hello, white sharks with razor sharp teeth. Hello, seahorses that make a heart. Here we go! Scallops that open and shut. Hello, starfish that open clams. See, 
Lovely. There was a sea. Did you like that song? It's beautiful. Okay, can we make some waves with our hands? Can you make some waves for the sea? Go like this up and down with your hands and we're warming them up. Up and down, make the waves. Lovely. Look at our waves. Oh, look at that beautiful fish in the background. Wow. Okay. Can you do this with your wrists? We're going to warm up our wrists. We're going to do some threading now. Open, close, open, close, squeeze tight. Shake, 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 shake. Lovely. Okay. Do you have your fish here? Did you make your fish? Okay. We're going to go to our desk now. I made a fish out of a piece of, of a box. Look. Okay. I used the box. So you can just make a fish shape. You just draw it on the box and you cut it out. Okay. And then I made little holes. Okay. So we can have space to do our threading. See, and I colored it in nicely. Now, all you need is a piece of string to thread. Okay. So we're going to start um, threading our fish now, or you can pretend to catch your fish. Okay. <gasps> I've got my fish and now I'm going to thread him. So you just take your string and we're going to go in and out. Okay. You see, we're using our two fingers again, in and out, up and down. Okay, can you see? There we go. Threading. Now we're going to do it, we're going to cross. Okay, from one side to the other. You can really do it any way you want, as long as you're threading from one side to the other. Okay, there we go. And you can do this anytime you feel like it. It's lots of fun. Good, I can see you threading. Lovely. Okay, in and out, side to side, go across, go up and down, have lots of fun. However you want to thread, you can thread. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Good, I can see you threading. You made your fish, girls. Lovely. There we go. Threading, keep threading. Good job. I can see how nicely you are threading. There, I've done with my threading. Can you see my fish? You keep going with your threading. Lovely, up and down. And then when you're done, you can unthread it as well. That's also fun to do that. Okay. Lovely. Good job. Did you thread your fish? Wasn't it lots of fun? So you can do this later again in the afternoon or tomorrow when you are bored. Okay. It's something fun to do. Did you enjoy making your fish? I enjoyed making my fish. It was so much fun. And you, I measured here from side to side with a ruler to try and get the correct distance. See, look at that. And you can just use a piece of string or whatever you have at home. I've just got string. Okay, that's our threading done. Did you do your threading? You can carry on with your threading. There's no rush, okay? I'm going to read a little story while you, th while you finish threading. Let's go to our desk. Remember we, re we learned about the s and the h. Huh. Sammy Snake. And Harry Hackman, who doesn't like any noise, and he says, shh, remember that. Okay, keep threading, keep threading. Okay, we didn't do the cha, did we? Cha, 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 cha. I'm just going to read you a very short story, and then we're going to make our fish. Clever cat belongs to Harry Hackman. He looks after her well, and she loves him. But she has one problem. As soon as she finds herself next to him in a word, she can't make her usual k, k, k sound because his hairy hat makes her nose tickle. So all you can hear when these two are together is Clever Cat's little sneezing sound. Ch, ch, ch. Does it sound like a little sneeze? Clever Cat was calmly playing chess in the kitchen. But then the clock chimed and Harry came 
hopping in to get his lunch. He was horrified to see chicks and a chicken on a chair. So he's been trying to chase them out. The trouble is, all that chasing about has made Clever Cat start to sneeze. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> Again, let's help Harry choose his lunch as he can hop off again. Let's have some Chinese food, some cheese, and some chunks of chocolate. Can you see? Some Chinese food, cheese. Can you see the chopsticks? Chopsticks. And where are the chunks of chocolate? Oh, I can find them over here. Can you see the chunks of chocolate? Yes. There are some peaches, because the ch is the end of the peaches. Can you hear the sound? Ch and a cherry cake too. They are the peaches and the cherry cake. Which would you choose for your lunch? Mm, I don't know. Maybe some cheese. Cheese. And you can you see the chicken? Ch -ch 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 chicken and the chick and the chess. And there is clever cat going ch -ch 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 -ch. and Harry Hatman. Can you see him? Lovely. And that's the sound. Cha, 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 cha. Okay, do you have your paper? We're going to make a fish today. Won't that be lots of fun? Okay, so what do we need? Scissors. Can you see all the fish in the background? I'm going to leave all my sea creatures over here for you to have a look at. Okay, if you don't know how to draw a fish, you can just put your hand down like this and you can just copy it. Okay, I'm going to show you now. We're going to make a fish like this. So you put your hand down, make sure your fingers are closed. And we are going to trace our hands to make a fish. Okay. So we just do, it's not going to be 100% accurate, but that's okay. That can be the fish's tail. Let me go all the way around. And I'm doing it with my left hand, so it's a little bit wobbly. Because I am right-handed. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that can be your fish. Because that's his fin, and then you just close it. Okay, would you like to make your fish for me? Just do your hand, put your hand down, and just trace around it like that. Okay, and that can be the fish's tail, your little, your fingers. And this can be, let's do his eye. What color should we make his eye? Get all your colors out. I'm going to put my green. I've got dark green here, light green. I've got blue. I'm going to use blue for my fish's eye. Let's make a big fish eye. Okay. And you can't see the fish's eye on the other side. Okay. If I turn my head, you know I've got two eyes, but you can only see one side. And that's, you can only see one eye. Okay. So we can only see one eye. Let's do some bubbles for our fish, because doesn't the fish blow bubbles? Yes? Can you blow bubbles with me? And blow. Good, I see you blowing bubbles. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make my bubbles from biggest to smallest. Do some bubbles in the sea. Let's do some water, some waves. Do some... Blue, because we are under the sea, aren't we? Okay, and we're going to decorate our fish as well. Don't worry. Okay, and there's my fish. We're going to do... The fish has... Have you seen the fish's lips? It's got big lips. I'm going to do his lips. There you go. <laughs> yeah, my fish has got big lips. <laughs> okay, draw some lips for your fish. Okay, and you can do some patterns with your crayons or your cookies or whatever you have to do because the fish have different shapes, don't they? Look at the fish in the background. Those are purple fish and you get yellow fish. You get all different colors. Can you see there? Wow. So they can have stripes. They can have dots. They can have anything. Look at those ones. Wow. They've got stripes going this way and then stripes going down. So you can draw your fish however you want to. Be creative. Oh, look at that turtle. 
Wow, isn't he beautiful? Hey, I'll move my head. <laughs> Can you see him? Wow, he's beautiful. He's busy eating. Okay, I'm going to do some stripes on my tail now. You can do whatever you want to. Stripes. You can do stripes going up, stripes going down. You can do different colors. Okay. I'm going to do some stripes going down. Like that. And you can color them in. If you want to. I'm going to do some yellow. I'm going to color it in yellow. So I've got some yellow and pink stripes. Remember how we hold our pen? Remember? Okay. Let's color it in. Are you decorating your fish? There we go. Lovely. We're going to color in, make some stripes. Do you have some things to decorate your fish with? Did you find some things around the house? that you can decorate with? Yes? Okay, look at that. I'm going to put some purple now. That's, this is red. I'm going to put some purple stripes going all the way across. Okay, you can do any detail you want and draw your fish however you want to. Because fish are all so different. You can make your own special fish. Okay, how is your fish looking? Is it looking pretty? I'm going to make some scribbles down. See, like that. And now I'm going to do some orange dots. See, look at that. Okay, and you can draw another little fish if you want. So I just draw a little shape like that. And you make a little triangle tail. It's very easy to draw a fish. See? It's like an oval on its side with a little tail. You can draw lots of little fish if you want to. Or you can draw your hand like I showed you. It's just easier to get the shape. Okay, here's another little fish. It's got blue lips. <laughs> okay. I've got a few stickers here. If you've got something to stick on your fish, mums and dads, stickers very good, fine motor skills. Okay, I'm going to stick some stickers over there. So you take the stickers off. If you've got stickers, you can stick them on. It's a great thing just to give a piece of paper and get the kids to stick. All sorts of stickers. Can't get messy. <laughs> and it's very good for them. Okay, I've got some half circles there that I'm sticking and what else do I have? I have some stars. I'm going to put some stars at the bottom for my starfish and I'm going to draw my sand just now. Can you see there? And then I'm going to put a few stars on my fish. If whatever you have at home you can stick you can even stick your balls of paper on. It will look very nice to make your fish almost pop out. Yeah, I've got some stars. Let's see what else I have here. I've got some string. So you can glue your string if you want. Gluing, sticking, cutting is all good. Okay, I'm going to glue a, a piece of string over here. See, it's really nice to use the materials that you find at home. You can use anything and it'll look nice. You can even tear some paper if you want to and stick it on. Okay, I've got a few balls over here from yesterday. <laughs> okay, so you can scrunch up your paper and you can stick it on. It looks very nice and it's good to scrunch, eh? There we go. See, look at that fish. Oh, it just was beautiful. It was stripy. Did you see it go past? There we go. Look at, oh, look at the blue one. Beautiful. Can you see them? Oh, I think that's an angel fish, the blue, the yellow one there. Wow, look at their lips. And can you see them? Their scales on the fish. Beautiful, hey? It's like we are under the sea. It would be nice to go under the sea. 
but we don't have gills like fish and they can breathe under the sea. We have lungs, hey. Okay, I'm sticking some more. Look, I mean, it was in the coral now, did you see? <laughs> so you can stick your little balls of paper on. So you can tear, tear, tear. You can even color in your pieces of paper, tear them and glue them. Okay, see, can you see how my fish is almost popping up now? Because he's got little balls on him that almost look like he's standing, it stands out, pops out. <laughs> There we go. Lovely. And you just glue it down. Okay, and I'm going to do my sand at the bottom of the sea. The sea is very, very deep. Did you know that? It goes so deep. And at the bottom of the sea, you can put some sand. Can't really see my yellow. I'll make it um, orange. Okay, we can put some sand at the bottom of the sea. Can you see there? There we go. Some sand. What else should we put? What else is missing in our sea? What about some plants or some coral? Can you see if there's lots of coral in the sea? Lots of plants, lots of seaweed. Okay, I'm gonna put some coral in. You can draw it however you want to. And you can draw lots of sea creatures, okay? You can draw a turtle. Remember the turtles in the sea? There's the turtle. You can draw a dolphin. The crayfish is a little bit more difficult, but you can draw those. You can draw shells. Should we draw some shells? I'm gonna draw some shells over here. Okay, you can draw some shells at the bottom of the sea. There we go. And I've got a special card here with all the shells I'm going to show you. We're going to count the shells. Can you see? Okay, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. How many shells are there? There are 10 shells. Look at all the different shapes. Can you see? And sometimes the little crabs live in this one looks like a hermit crab shell. Little crabs live in them and lots of little sea creatures live in the shells. Look at that. Wow. Okay, there are 10 shells. So you can draw your, you can draw a curly shell like this one, a twirly curly one. So it can go like that, can you see? And you can make it go right up if you want, okay? Or you can just do a, a twirly shell. Okay, lots of shells. And you can draw a seahorse if you want to. Okay, and they've got a little curly tail, don't they? kind of got a seahorse shape. Not very good at that. It's got a little nose and you also get stingrays, don't you? Stingrays in the sea. Oh, look there and look at all the little coral there. All lots of little corals sticking up and you get the sea anemones. Okay, I think that's an anemones. Yes, where Nemo lives, the clownfish. Do you remember Nemo? Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. The sea is really beautiful with lots of bright colors, don't you think? Wow. And there's Nemo. Talking about Nemo, <laughs> you must have heard me. There's Nemo, the clownfish. See, they love to live by the sea anemones. And if you haven't seen Finding Nemo, you must watch it. And there's an angelfish. Almost looks like Dory. Hey, Dory. Hi, Dory. And look at the bubbles. Can you see? Oh, did he just eat something? Did he catch something? Wow. And those fish are beautiful. Look at these stripes. So you can do lots of different patterns on your, you can do little dots, anything that you want to. See, 
It's lots of fun to draw, don't you think? And you can use paint if you want. You can use whatever you want and decorate your picture. Look at all those beautiful fish. And we can draw lots of mo lots more fish. Okay. Draw lots of fish. And remember, the fish don't just swim this way. They swim up. They swim around. They swim down. So we can draw a fish going down. They don't just swim one way. Hey. So you can draw lots of different fish. It's just, it's actually very easy. Just draw an oval with a triangle. See, they go lots of different ways. See? Lovely, the shells and bubbles. How is your picture looking? Is it looking lovely? Yes, lovely. Okay, do we need to do some stretching quickly? Oh, let's stretch those fingers out. Can you do that? Stretch them out, stretch them up to the one side and up and other side and around. Can you stretch your neck one side just gently? Other side and up and down and shake your hands. Because we've done lots of work now with our fingers, hey? They can get sore. Oh, there's the turtle again. Beautiful. Did you enjoy our under the sea? Did you enjoy it? And seeing the real sea creatures. Wow. Super, super cool, hey? Don't you think? Okay. So that is the end of our lesson today. We had a little, a little short lesson today. Today is the 1st of May. 2020. Okay, and I will see you on Monday. You enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Stacey loves you lots. Bye.